Hey people and welcome back to another video with Raf Gaming. Ember is dropping soon, so let's take a look. Ember is a frantic firefighting simulation game with a twist. Ember was developed by Muse Games using Unity and published by Curve Digital. Ember will be in early access. Once that period is over, there will be two to three more times more content than it already offers and additional game modes. This helps build a community and gives us the best experience in the future. The game will also be cross-platform and cross-play with the PC from launch. Ember takes a satirical look at the gig economy, playing it out in a fictitious world where people have moved beyond Uber and Deliveroo and anyone can respond to any emergency call and head out in teams to tackle fires, scale buildings, smash windows, fight fires, save lives, either alone or in a group of up to four people. The mini of the game is literally a phone app. Missions are selected from the main screen. Each area seems to be a neighbourhood. First mission, also known as the introduction, you have to go on training. You quickly learn the ropes on the training course. At the end, your phone comes up with a job summary, which shows you your payout, the time it took, clients rescued, bonus cash found, and the client rating that also gives you a client comment, which is sometimes hilarious. You then get a breakdown of the costs and losses you gained on that mission. More missions become available as you beat each neighbourhood and your client rating begins to increase. There's a lot more to the game just putting out fires and rescuing clients. There are also puzzles in the game such as connecting loose electrical wires with water, finding ways to air a room out if there's toxic gas in there, looking for alternative routes, smashing windows, smashing doors, dropping customers into comfy zones. <laughs> there's more to it than meets the eye. Tools. There are many tools in this game. You start with a client locator, fire axe and a basic hose. You can then purchase a throwing axe, cheat metal bot, collapsible ladder, a trampoline, breaching charge, fire extinguisher, hair dryer, jump pad, slippery slide, sprinkler, healing needle and a grappling hook. It doesn't just stop there because each of these items can be upgraded three to five times depending on them, enhancing their abilities. For example, you can upgrade the host to auto refill or have a higher capacity water tank and much more things. Gear. You can customise what your character wears from hats to headgears to jackets to shirts to types of gloves to pants. You may even be able to purchase a grenade or two. Vehicles. You can also customise your vehicle from the shape to the colour to the wheels to the siren and the ornament. When you click on the menu button, it brings up a list. On this list is Multiplayer, Shop, Profile, Inventory slash Upgrades and Loadouts. Multiplayer, you have the ability to join or create a crew. From there you can choose to join a crew or create your own game. Shop, this is where you spend the cash you earn by using your tools, gear and vehicles. Profile, if you go into Profile you can get all of your stats and see jobs completed, jobs failed, clients rescued, clients lost, items salvaged, items returned cash recovered, income date and you could even change your profile picture which also looks like there might be a few more character inventory slash upgrades. This is where you can change your gear and change your vehicle and upgrade your tools, again using that hard earned cash. Loadouts. You can have a maximum of three loadouts saved but you do have to buy the third one. One interesting thing about settings is there's an assist mode which can only be used in a single player game or games that you host. There's also a profanity filter, which is interesting. I suppose this game could be PG. <laughs> then you have all of your usual options out there. And that's everything I know so far. Ember will be 25% off at launch for pro users, coming in at $49.99. It will be 20% off for Stadia users, coming in at $15.99. From the little I've played, I'd rather enjoy the idea of this game, the mechanics, the Uber meets delivery aspect of it, I do adore that. I want to get my hands on some multiplayer action. I feel like there could be so much more that you could do with the game in a team, the banter, the laughs you could get with just being working as a team and you know how it gets. The only fault I can find is the sensitivity of the controls, but again, that could be changed to settings. That's an easy thing to change. But yeah, I'm looking forward to playing this with you guys. So once I get this all up and start streaming, definitely be worth it. The question I leave you with today is, will you be watching Animal Charity Livestream? You don't know what that is, well, this Saturday, the 23rd, Andy Morse will be doing a livestream with Ember. He'll be collecting donations for Firefighters Charity. 
but it's Andy, so you know there's a little twist to it, which also then means that he's also going to be getting gunged. So you guys definitely need to check that out and make sure you're there. People, thank you for watching. Wait, wait, wait. Also, make sure to catch the TGS podcast every Saturday with Wingy, the Grow Up Stadia, Andy of Andy Morse, and myself, Ref Gaming. Catch you later.